Welcome to the O'Connor Elder Law Channel. I'm your host, Melissa O'Connor. I'm a Florida-based elder law attorney who does estate planning focusing on long-term care needs, commonly referred to as Medicaid planning, and I do probate, and I do it well. Today I wanted to talk to you about when to know um, when you should call your agent up basically and say, I need help. So many of my elderly clients have an agent designated under durable power of attorney. And today we're going to talk about when they should be asking their agent for help. But before I get started, I wanted to invite you to schedule a free strategy session with me at eldermeeting.com. Okay. So when should we be asking our agent for help? This issue came up um, in my office under really sad and unfortunate circumstances, but circumstances that do happen. Um, my client lives in a assisted living facility and she um, depends on uh, caregivers to support her in her care um, in addition to the regular care that the facility provides. So she has designated caregivers that just work for her um, to make sure that she can um, have the most independent life possible and is well cared for. Her relatives, since we're here in Florida, very common, her relatives don't live close. And so that's another reason why she has this paid help. Um, it came to her attention that one of her caregivers had stole from her. And um, we were able to you know, go through the whole process of calling law enforcement and all these different things and um, get the assets that were stolen returned to her, thankfully. Not everybody um, is that lucky. But it really brought up the topic of um, maybe we should be calling in our agent at this time to start to help us handle more of our affairs, not have our checkbook and certain um, things on, you know, on the premises there at the assisted living facility. So that way sticky hands couldn't, um, couldn't get to it um, because we just realized that even the people that we thought we trusted, there might be one bad apple in the mix and it can cause serious damage. Um, so lucky for her, we were able to, you know, reach out to her loved one that she had designated the agent and say, I think it's time that you start to take over my checkbook. Um, you know, I still want to be involved. I still want to know. I still want to see statements, but the actual physical checkbook that somebody could um, come in and um, take checks from me when I'm not aware, it's no longer on the premises and that's not something that, um, that she has there, but yet, you know, she'll still have, um, full access to her money and all that good stuff. So for her, that's what was the triggering event when we knew that maybe it was time for her agent to step up. And, um, but other families, we don't wanna necessarily wait for something so drastic to happen when it becomes apparent that maybe things aren't safe anymore. Um, maybe somebody else would be in a better position to help you. Um, you do not have to have a lack of capacity for your agent to help you. That's a big mis misunderstanding um, in the aging community. They think that as long as they can handle their affairs, their agent um, doesn't, you know, isn't, doesn't, isn't needed or isn't legally um, even able, which is completely false, at least here in Florida with our durable powers of attorney. Your agent is fully legally able the moment that you signed your durable power of attorney document. And so now it just becomes a conversation between you and your agent as to when um, you think that they should be helping you, um, what tasks that are appropriate for them to help you with, given your living circumstances or the ease of which um, you may or may not be able to handle certain affairs. And having that open dialogue and that conversation with your agent is super important. Then we're all on the same page and we know um, what's expected of us. And um, we know then that we're not stepping on toes. And we also are um, avoiding um, unfortunate circumstances, um, like having your checks lifted out of your checkbook when you are sleeping and, and facts like that. Um, I hope that this information has been helpful to you. If it has, um, please like and share with others and feel free to schedule a strategy session with me at eldermeeting.com. And as always, thank you for joining me.